Okay, so if you're brand new to Webflow, you may find reference fields a little bit confusing at first. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you through how to use them and why you might actually want to use them for your projects. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to use blog posts to show you how to use reference and multi-reference fields. So let's imagine that you're creating a blog. You want to have an author, one author per blog post, but you want to have multiple different categories per individual blog that you have. You could potentially want different authors. If that was the case, you'd actually not use a reference field. You'd use multi-reference, but for our example, we're going to just have one author per blog in which case we're going to use just a reference field for this, but we are going to use multi-reference for all the different categories that we might want to tag to an individual blog post. So the issue with doing this all in one uh, CMS collection is that you could do that. You could actually add all of this data into just one CMS collection for blog posts. The issue is you'd have to do that for every single blog post every single time. So you'd have to add in your image as the author, your title, then all the different categories, which is, again, a not efficient way of doing it. The best way of doing it is to set up three different CMS collections and then reference them all to each other, which is what we've done here. So first off, what we're going to do is actually just tag one of our authors from our author CMS collection, which I've already set up, over to individual blog posts. So if we go to our blog post setting here, go on the settings cog, I'm going to add a reference field into all the different collection fields that you can have with inside blog posts. So we'll go on add new field, we'll then go on to reference, and in this case we're going to reference our authors collection at the top here. So the label for this would simply just be authors since that's the title. And then the collection we want to reference, again just choose authors, and then we're going to save that field, and then we're going to save that collection. And then just to make sure that we've actually got an author on there, because obviously until you enter in the data, it won't be there. We'll go and just choose one of the blog posts, for example. So we'll choose the one at the top here. We'll scroll all the way down. And then we'll go to our new option here, which says authors, which would not have been there unless we had done that. So we'll now click on an author and we'll just choose the one at the bottom. And then we will save that. Okay, so now we can set this up on our actual blog card. So if we go back to our page over here, this is currently just placeholder. We can now replace this with the data from our author's CMS collection. So we'll click on the name here. We'll go into the settings cog. We'll go and get text from blog posts. And then when we do this drop down, and you'll see here we've got some options here from our blog post collection fields, but we now also have our author options as well. In our case, we want to now just choose the name of the person, which is now, as you can see, has changed it. If we'd enter in data for all of them, it would have updated it for every single one, but I've only put in this data for one blog post so far. What we'll also need to do now is go over to our image. We'll go into the settings cog here, and we'll go on get image from blog post, and then we'll just choose the, the thumb, sorry, the, uh, the author's picture in this particular case, and that will change the picture to the person involved writing that article. And again, if we'd entered this data in for every blog post, it would have updated it for every single one. As it stands, we've only got it for one of them just for the moment. Okay, so hopefully that makes some kind of sense when it comes to reference fields. Basically, you're just referencing another CMS collection and having it inside of your blog card here, which itself is also a CMS collection. But when it comes to categories, you probably want to have multiple ones of these. So now we need to set up our multi-reference field for our different categories. So if we go over to our CMS collection again, you'll actually want to go to the blog post settings once again before we get do anything else. Click on that. We're going to add a new field just like before. And this time, rather than reference, it's going to be multi-reference. So click on multi-reference. And this time it's going to be categories. And the collection we want to reference, of course, will also be categories. Then we will simply just save that field, we'll save the collection, and then now, once again, we'll go to our blog post at the top here, and we'll now have another new option at the bottom. So again, as you saw before, we only had authors as the last option, we now have one below it, which is our different categories. So if we now click on this, 
we now get a drop down where we can choose multiple different categories relating to this blog post. So again, this just saves us time having to enter in this data individually for each individual blog post. All we have to do is click on as many as we want. And there we go. We've now got two different categories related to this particular blog post and we've referenced it from our categories CMS collection. So we'll just simply save this. And once that's done its thing, we'll actually go back to our page. And what I'm going to do is now throw in another CMS collection inside of this blog card. And we're going to use this kind of design to do it as well. So inside of the card itself, we're going to just throw on a div block. Inside that div block, we'll just move this to the top, if I can do it, there we go. And then we're gonna throw a CMS collection list inside of here. And the source in this time is going to be our multi-reference field here of categories. And you'll see, We've got two because we only set up two categories for this particular one. And what I think I'm going to do is also just make the collection list into a grid so we can actually play around with the, the way this looks a little bit better. We'll get rid of one of the rows and we'll just leave this as, as a two column setup. And I think what we can very simply do is just borrow this design here and paste that inside and we'll get rid of the top one there because we don't need it anymore. So we just use that thing I set up just to get this kind of, uh, to look the certain way I want to. But now, all we have to do is click on each one of these, click on the settings cog here, we'll go and get text from categories, and we can just simply choose the name of that, and now you'll see that they've changed that specific category that related to that blog post. So, hopefully, that makes some kind of sense what we've done here. So just to summarize, we've used a reference field for our author, which is just a singular thing. If you wanted to have multiple different things referenced, you then use a multi-reference field. And in this case, we use that for our various different types of blog category. Okay, so that is how you use reference fields and multi-reference fields inside of Webflow. Let me know in the comments below if you found that useful, and I will see you in the next video.